We're trying to address in a clinical need uh, in developing high resolution imaging technology specifically for the ear and auditory system. We're building miniaturized ultrasound imaging probes that have microscopic feature sizes. So they're shrunk down to the size of about a pencil. This will allow a clinician to go in uh, and investigate an auditory disorder without actually surgically exploring and opening up the eardrum. Right now, the only way we can really know what's going on is to take it to the operating room, lift up the eardrum, have a look around, see if there's something we can fix or not fix, and if there's nothing we can fix, we close up. The thing about the ear is that the structures that people want to see are too small to be able to resolve with the CT or MRI imaging, which is what's used elsewhere in the body. And so basically, surgeons go in almost blind. And this lets us look through the eardrum and into the middle ear, right in the clinic. And for the very first time in the world, really, have a look at what's going on with hearing. It's a huge cost to, to the healthcare system because many of these surgeries are unnecessary and could easily be avoided. And the thing that they keep striving me is uh, that right now about a quarter of middle ear surgeries that are done, the doctor is not able to, to fix the problem. So basically it's an exploratory surgery. They, they go in, they see what's wrong, and then they realize they can't do anything about it and sew the patient up. If you were to come here, we don't know what's wrong with your hearing. We would be able to probe you better than anybody else in the world at this point. And I might be able to uh, understand better why the things that we do for the hearing loss don't work as well as we want them to. We only have about 70% success rate. We don't know why we don't, the other 30% don't work. This will help me find that out. That will result in a huge savings to the healthcare system, not just here in Halifax, but everywhere. If these products take a commercial hold, there will be a revenue stream coming into this province. By building this reputation of research excellence, you attract sort of the top tier students from across the country. We have no shortage of ideas and innovation. We just needed the tools to actually bring those ideas to fruition. Capital Health provides support in terms of uh, lab space and matching funds. And what we provide to Capital Health is a uh, reputation of building up a research centre and also we are bringing in actual dollars in terms of money coming in from partnering companies and going into the hospital that they can then feed back into the research programs uh, to try to get this perpetual cycle going. In my view, Nova Scotia is one of the best places in the world to be doing the kind of things we're doing. On this very corner, we have a medical school, an engineering department, two hospitals, an industry liaison office, and an incubator building for spinning out companies. So all those pillars are literally within a few hundred feet of each other, which is uh, just a perfect recipe for prosperity and economic development.